right, we expect clouds at this time of the year, but all of us could use a little uh, vitamin D at this point. It's been a pretty cloudy stretch. This was the way it looked looking down on those clouds from our high resolution satellite picture uh, today. The nearest sunshine out towards Dubois along I-80 in Pennsylvania, but otherwise Western PA, Eastern Ohio in the clouds will stay in the clouds tonight as we only drop another degree or two down to 29 degrees. All right, as we head into the day tomorrow, a warm front moves off to the uh, east. We're going to be uh, stuck under the clouds for most of the day, but I think any snow flurries will stay to the east of I-79 as uh, we go through our Wednesday morning. Temperatures tomorrow in the wake of that warm front will be a little bit warmer, and I mean a little bit. We'll sneak up to 39 or 40 in most backyards. When will we see some sun? I do think we'll start to see some, maybe not Thursday morning, but Thursday afternoon. Some sunny breaks will try to develop, and Friday could start with some sun before clouds filter in and thicken up as we go through the afternoon hours. And much like uh, our, our forecast from last evening for the longer range here, lots of orange on this weather map in the 8 to 14 day period. Lots of above average temperatures as we go through mid December. All right, uh, let's get to this uh, season's winter forecast. Of course, I did this originally about a month ago, and we always like to do a little update on the forecast in early December. Well, last winter in Ohio is the fifth warmest on record, seventh warmest in Pennsylvania and here locally. It was the sixth warmest winter on record last winter. I still think the most likely outcome for this winter is a lot of mild air compared to the average, especially east of the Rockies, including, of course, Ohio and Pennsylvania. I'd put it at about a 65% chance of it being by a fair margin warmer than the average. Something that still can't be totally ruled out, the coldest outcome. This still isn't a very cold outcome, but I think there's about a 10% chance that temperatures this winter will be near average. Only a 10% chance, though. The odds definitely favoring a warmer than average winter and I still can't rule out. In fact, I give it about a 25% chance that not only is it a mild winter, it could be a top five warmest winter on record. Again, last winter was the sixth warmest on record. As far as snowfall totals, our thinking really hasn't changed here either. All of these numbers, wherever you are on the map, are below average, but a little bit more than last year. Of course, last year was particularly snow free. This year, probably a little bit more, but still not as much as in a typical winter. And so we'll keep an eye on how things progress this winter. It could be quite a warm one. In the meantime, no accumulating snow for the next week. 51 Friday, 51 on Saturday, but some rain showers will push in Saturday afternoon. Continue into Saturday night and may change to snow flurries by Sunday afternoon. Lindsay?